Okay, this is a video for Physics 1607, Auburn University, Fall 2013. This is going to be part two of our series on cross products. Uh, and uh, we've covered the definition of the cro cross product in the previous video. This is going to be uh, an example of a simple calculation of a cross product. We have the vector A is equal to 3i plus 4j. The vector B is equal to 2i minus 5j. And what we're interested in, first of all, is the cross product A cross B. And I'm going to come over here to my right side and I'm going to write, not that, I'm going to write my little IJK circle. If you don't know what that is, I would encourage you to go watch the previous video. And just as a reminder, I'm going to draw a counterclockwise arrow with a positive sign to remind myself of the, the sign convention that I'm following. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I encourage you to watch the previous video, Cross Product Part 1. But I'll assume that you've watched that, so here we go. Cross Product A cross B. This is going to work basically just like a simple algebraic manipulation um, with the added caveat that we're going to have to perform the cross products of the unit vector. So let me just write this out. 3i plus 4j times 2i minus 5j. And at this point, it should look very familiar to you. Just a, um, a simple multiplication of binomials. But we have, for our first term, I'm going to multiply this term by this term. So 3 times 2, clearly I get 6. But I'm going to have to multiply i times i. And in this case, I'm going to use the cross product, i cross i. And we'll talk about what that is in a second. Second term, uh, this term times this term. So we're going to have, sorry, it's not going to be a plus, it's going to be a minus 15i cross j. And let me just caution you when you're doing this. Order is very, very important. Let me change colors here to emphasize. We're crossing A into B, and so I have to do this in the correct order. Uh, 3 and 5 clearly doesn't mean uh, a whole lot if I change the order, but it does mean a whole lot if I change the order of I and J. So vector A, I'm getting the I term here across the J term here, and I have to repeat that order uh, as I make this, uh, this operation. So I can't just take minus 5J times 3I, that's going to give me a wrong answer. I have to follow the order. As it turns out, the cross product does not obey the law of commutativity. So, order is very, very, very important here. So my next term is going to be this term times this term. And so I'm going to get, let me change that to black. I'm going to get uh, plus 8. And again, keeping the order of the unit vectors, j cross i. I'm going to have to go down to my next line. Next term is just going to be minus 20 j cross j. Now, if you remember, the definition of the cross product is the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second vector times the sine of the angle in between them. So clearly, if I'm crossing i into i or j into j, the sine of the angle between them is going to be 0. The angle between them is, is uh, 0 degrees. Uh, and the sine of 0 is 0. So every time I have this, i cross i, this is going to be give me 0. j cross j is going to give me 0. Uh, in fact, any vector crossed into itself is going to yield 0. So I'm only left with two terms out of this four-term expansion that survive. So let me see what they are. Um, give myself some space here. I've got a minus 15... And now I need to figure out what i cross j is. Now if I go up to my uh, my little circle that I've drawn up here, if I cross i into j, I'm going to get a k. And the sign is based upon this convention that I've drawn. So I'm moving in the clockwise direction, so I'm going to get a positive k. So I'm just going to come down here and write a k hat. And my next term is going to be plus 8 j crossed into i, let me do this in yet a different color, j crossed into i, 
I'm moving this way. So I'm going to get a K out of that operation also, but now I'm moving clockwise around that circle, and so my sign is going to be negative. So I'm going to get an 8 times a minus K. I should do that in black as well. A minus K hat. And so if you put this together, you're going to get a minus 15 minus 8, which is going to be a minus 23K hat. And so notice um, the direction is wholly in the Z direction, which I should have guessed from looking at A and B, because A and B both lie wholly in the XY plane. And we know that the cross product is going to be orthogonal to the plane formed by my uh, my constituent vectors. So if my, my two vectors that I'm crossing into each other are wholly in the XY plane, my resultant vector, or my cross product vector, is going to have to be completely in the Z plane. And in fact, this is what we find here. And as I mentioned in class on Thursday, we'll talk about uh, an inspection way to calculate the sign of this. We'll also talk about the geometric interpretation of this. Uh, but being able to perform this calculation will be required for your quiz on Thursday.